For this problem, we want to find the electric potential at the origin. To begin, we need to find the electric potential of the first charge. Q1 has a charge of 5 nanocoulombs, or written as 5 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs. Its distance, R1, can be found by looking at the diagram. You can see that Q1 is negative 8, and compared to the origin, it's 8 meters away. So R1 is equal to 8 meters. From here, use your equation, V1 equals KQ1 over R1. Plug in your values of 9 times 10 to the 9th, 5 times 10 to the negative 9th, and 8 meters. This will give you our final answer of 5.625. For this part of the problem, we need to find the electric potential due to charge Q2. Q2 has a charge of 3 nanocoulombs, which can be written as 3 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs. The distance, R2, can be found from the diagram. You see that the diagram shows us that Q2 is 2 meters from the origin. From here, we use our equation V2 equals KQ2 over R2. Plug in your values of 9 times 10 to the 9th, 3 times 10 to the negative 9th, and 2. This will give you our final value that V2 equals 13.5 volts. In part C, we need to find the electric potential of Q3. Q3 has a charge of negative 9 nanocoulombs. This can be rewritten as negative 9 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs. The distance, R3, can be found by looking at the diagram. You see that the distance is equal to 6 meters. From here, use our equation V3 equals KQ3 over R3. Plug in our values of 9 times 10 to the 9th, negative 9th times 10 to the negative 9th, and 6. To find our answer, that V3 equals negative 13.5. For part D, we want to find the leading net electric potential, or sigma V. Sigma V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Plug in the values that we have received for the past three parts, 5.625 for V1, 13.5 for V2, and negative 13.5 for V3. 13.5 and negative 13.5 cancel out to leave us with a net V of 5.625 volts. For the final part, we want to find the work that must be done to bring our test charge from infinity to the origin. Our test charge has a charge of 1 microcoulomb or 1 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. The voltage is our total voltage, which also equals 5.625 volts. We use the equation UE is equal to QV. Plug in our values of 1 times 10 to the negative 6 and 5.625 to find our final answer of 5.625 times 10 to the negative 6 joules.